Here I'm going to add a gear. You should turn on extra mesh add-on to get this gear object. Here you need to tweak some settings to get the desired design. Here is the screenshot. You can give these input values to get similar design. Then go to the edit mode, select top and bottom edges and scale them. Then select both the edges, right click bridge edge loop. Then add bevel on these edges. Then select sharper edges and add a bevel on them. Add two segment bevel and shape factor should be one. Then add a supportive loop cuts. Then hit the control 2 to add some demodifier. Now we got a decent gear design. Shift D to duplicate it and rotate it into the 90 degree. And try to match the position. Try to interlock teeth of both gears. That looks really well. We want to rotate this gear along the Z axis. And this gear along the X axis. Select first gear. Go to the transform, Z rotation, right click, copy as a new driver. Select second gear, go to the transform, X rotation, right click, paste driver. Now you need to open the graph editor in another viewport. Select second gear, press N key, just go to the driver, driver type, scripted expression. Now we should change direction of the rotation for interlocking. For that we need to change the expression in the driver. Here you need to multiply the expression with a minus 1. So expression will be rotation underscore Euler into minus 1. Now you can see driver value is negative. Now we are getting proper gear animation. Just add keyframes and animate it. So in this way we can get the gear animation with the help of driver. You can do lots of things with the driver. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye. See you next video. Take care.